All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Dave. I'm behind the camera for the first few seconds here. I got my buddy here, Johnny. How's it going, John? What are we doing today? So we're going to work on the GDO and hopefully get started. Hopefully start, yeah. Well, so that's what we're doing. And uh, we picked up a couple of uh, things here. I don't know if you can see me too well, but just have a uh, inline filter. I decided instead of, uh, at this point, I'm, everything seems to be backward. So I'm going to sneak around here. You got some, uh, you know, you just saw a translation of my enormous head here. So what we're trying to do is, and I'm sorry, I swing by you here, bud. Sorry, no, you don't have to, yeah, here, stay over here. So we've got fuel filter here. We're just putting this in line. Um, and we're gonna, I got some fresh uh, fuel injection hose and a couple of extra pieces to run. I'm just gonna hook it up. I'm gonna dump fresh uh, premium in the tank. And then we're gonna try to fire this thing up. I got some fuel injection hose. It, it is insane how out of stock everything is and how expensive everything is. So I got pretty decent fuel injection hose just so I could get this thing started, but I'm gonna redo everything. Uh, and how much you think this cost? Just this six foot of hose? 4,000. Okay, definitely not $4,000, $50. Okay, it was like $55 for, for, yeah, it was a lot of money for not as much as 4,000. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this a little inline filter in. Um, what, I'm, what I'm trying to do is um, use the tank. Gas has been in there for quite a long time. So I got some premium sitting around here somewhere. We're gonna put that in and then we're going to um, crank it and fire. Like we're, we're, we should be there, we got good oil pressure. Uh, the lines, I'm gonna eventually change every line at this point. I just wanna fire this thing up, see what happens. If I get a knock, I get a knock. <laughs> but uh, so far it had good oil pressure, but um, why don't we run the lines, get it hooked up and get her fired up. All right, we'll be right back. All right, just doing a quick pre-fire uh situational awareness here so you can see what i did i just added this in ran the hose down the side there it's not gonna it's kind of in between the power steering and the um uh i guess it's just a part of the bracket and uh then it runs up here to the holly i expect this thing to leak like a sieve we'll see my expectations are relatively low i have no idea what that wire is it's just chilling out up there but i don't think i need it so what I'm going to do is what we're going to do, what John, we're going to put some fuel in it, some premium, and then we got the door open. We're going to crank it and uh, Let's see this thing. we're basically going to uh, cross our fingers and pray that uh, she fires up. <laughs> so I haven't had the battery on the charger, but it hasn't been hooked up. So I think it should be fine. But uh, here goes nothing. So we're just about ready to give her a shot. There goes nothing, Johnny. We got this kind of sitting here. Let's see what uh, what's doing. This should be good. All right, fingers crossed. Keep an eye on it for me. We're going to. <laughs> there goes nothing. We got some premium in there. I really have no eye, no expectations whatsoever. All right, you ready? Yes. We got a nice full tank. That's for sure. Very low likelihood this is gonna start. <laughs> All right, you wanna turn the key? You want me to? Yeah, get in there. All right, you're gonna turn the key. When I tell you to stop, you stop, okay? Come on, no, you're going this way. Come on back, come on back. Go that way. You gotta go that way. All right. How do I do? All right, so 
What you're gonna do, open the door. Get in there. Gotta press. Get in there. Hop in. Alright. Fight in. You do not touch any of the pedals. Alright? Put this key, this goes in the ignition. When you turn it, you turn it like this. Ooh. Something shocked real bad. <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> All right, we're close, folks. She wants to start. I just don't. I don't see any fuel in here yet, so I don't know if the fuel pump's working or not. Go ahead. I keep running. It's fine. Watch out. getting there. We're getting there. Uh, yeah, see, it's just no, there's no fuel in this guy, I don't think. It wants to start. There's just not enough fuel coming in. So it's okay. Let's try it again. All right. This isn't flooded, I don't know what it is. Let's see. Give her a go, John. Got it. Hop in, bud. All right, I think we got it. There's fuel inside the filter now, so I think, I think she wants to fire. All right. I'll work the pedal up here. You just turn it, okay? You know, you, okay, go ahead. Try it again. Mm. Might have might have flooded her a little bit. What? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, because it's got low pressure. Do it again, John. Go ahead.
right, guys, so we did it. Nice job, dude. <laughs> All right, so we're getting a little bit of smoking. It's uh, obviously things are leaking. So eventually what I'm gonna end up doing um, is uh, pull the entire engine transmission out because the transmission is leaking pretty bad. Um, fuel lines in pretty bad shape in the back there. Um, it's like pretty much everything's a mess, but it's running. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so I got a lot of work to do on this to kind of clean her up, but I'll change all the vacuum lines, change all the, um, the kind of corroded parts. I got to put an exhaust on this thing. I did find a pair of uh, 70 GTO manifolds that I think I'm going to get. Um, and if anybody's kind of familiar with that, the, the 68 up to 68, um, I think maybe, no, I think it was 64 to 68 has the little, uh, thermo, um, it's like a, a thermal spring that, uh, is a flapper door to have the, the engine heat up faster. I, like I, I'm, I'm not interested in keeping that. These manifolds are in really bad shape and, um, something's leaking down there that we'll figure out, but we'll clean this bad boy off really really well but uh she's lives bud <laughs> we did it nice job thank you again for helping me here it's a little cloudy in here it's a little steamy let's go take a look uh what, back in here let's see what's, let's and uh, see how much smoke we got gonna have to turn the fan on me thanks but oh, uh oh man that is yeah it's a little bit of a little smoky back here but uh i'll tell you what man she's running pretty damn good what do you think you excited now? You want to work on this more? Oh, I want to work on this. Yeah, I have no idea if any of the uh, you can see here. This is a great like this. I gotta, I gotta do some work on this. Yeah, we but we'll take this off. We'll eventually pull the full vinyl top off. But we're actually gonna enjoy this car, get it running, take it out and enjoy it a little bit. But like, it does run well, all things considered. It runs shockingly well for uh, for it's sitting for almost ten years. Mm, pardon me, fat guy, bro. Oil pressure is awesome in the seventies, so we got great, great oil pressure in it. Um, fuel system's okay. I don't think I'm going to keep it that way. I think I'm probably going to end up uh, getting a uh, new uh, fuel tank probably and a, or maybe at least cleaning this one out really well. New fuel lines and just uh, kind of do everything right. Uh, oh, you left the key on. I can see you left the key on in there. Okay, you turned it too far. All right, let's go around. We'll take it out. But uh, victory, guys. I'm pretty damn excited. So that's first step now. What we're going to have to do is we're gonna start doing some real work on us. We got her running. Everything seems sound, transmission's leaking. We knew that going in. So I'm actually gonna swap, put the SS over in this bay and the GTO is gonna go over here. Uh, and I gotta get some of this stuff. As you can tell, like we're trying to get gear up for Christmas, but uh, Christmas, the beach, oh, it feels like Christmas, but like I got some stuff to do in here, but I have that right there. And I don't know if you can see it right there. Oh, missed it. There it is. That guy right there. That is the original carburetor for this car. So for right now, I'm probably not going to use that one, but let me, let me try to walk over here. Um, this actually is working pretty darn well. I'm actually surprised, um, but uh, I'm going to take this up here. You can see it, and I don't know how good a shape any of these things are, but this is the original carb that came with it. Or Actually, you know what? No, this may actually be my dad's original one. Hold on, let me back this up a little bit. There we go. So this may be the original one off my dad's GTO. I've got this. This is actually off of a 400. So this is the right thing for the fuel pump. Uh, right, the fuel line. This guy is actually a rebuilt one. So I could potentially swap this piece into this guy. So this is one I've had for I don't know how long. And it's got the electric choke. So let's bring this down, Johnny. We'll take a look at this. As usual, my bench is a wreck here, but you get to see this guy. I've had this for a while. This bad boy, gaskets are still good. This is an electric choke. Oh no, this is a thermostatic choke. Oh no! Well, it's, that's fine actually, because I've used them before. That's a bit of a pain in the butt. Johnny, can you take that, put that over there over by the other side? Can you actually turn the fan on too, pal? It's that button way over there. We gotta do some cleaning in here, man. It is insane. I'm just like totally out of control in here. Let's turn that on and get some fan going because it is smoky. Yeah, and when we get everything like done on the GTO, well, we're going to bring these the cars out and we're going to get everything out and organize. Yeah, well, actually, you said it. But so here, this is cool. So it's, it's, uh, it is rebuilt, ready to go. I am not 100. I'm pretty sure this is either 750 or 800 CFM. 
might be a 700, but it really doesn't matter because this guy is, I believe, a 650 on this one. And um, that's been on there for a while. But I have a lot of good parts for it that we could swap back and forth and figure out what's the right one. But that's it, guys. Well, we did it. We're back up and running. First step on the road to recovery. So I think that's it for today. Great job again, pal. We'll catch you next time. I hope you're excited. I definitely am. Please hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.